Now, the three teacher unions, Ghana National Association of Teachers, National Association of Graduate Teachers, and Coalition of Concerned Teachers have called off their strike, but the unions say they are disappointed in the Labour Commission for going to court over the action. The leadership of the three unions called off the strike, following a court order for them to resume work for negotiations to continue. That is a court order. And we have to respect the decision of the court. Even though we were not part of that decision, we have to respect it. And so whilst we respect this court order and call our people back to the classroom, we'll follow up on the issue. We'll not leave it here. The battle will continue. The executive secretary of the Labour Commission of Osha Samoa is elated the striking teachers have complied with the court order. We are just 10 days away from Christmas. We are ending the term. Children must finish the syllabus that have been prescribed for the period. They must write examinations before they vacate. So if we are jammed for one week, when will they cover the syllabus? When will exams be written? Are they going to be in school during the Christmas session? If they had returned to the classroom or they were teaching whilst the case was pending, we could have conveniently adjourned it. But the unions have expressed their displeasure with NLC for securing a court order insisting it will no longer appear before the commission. For the National Labour Commission to invite us to their offices for discussions and engagements, I'm sorry. They cannot resolve our issues. That is how come they went to court. And so we have to continue everything in court. It's as simple as that. But your, your but executive secretary disagrees with the intended action. They can decide not to petition the commission in any matter. But if there is a petition against them or a complaint against them, they will appear before the commission. They cannot decide not to appear. The commission has compelling powers. Sources indicate that government will by close of next week pay the arrears deal with the teachers.